Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. I'm back today with a new message from the Lord. Happy New Week. I know it's Tuesday, but I just wanted to welcome you all to this week. And I just want to uh, welcome you back to the channel. And also if you're new, welcome. Quick disclaimer, it's important to note that not every prophetic message is meant for everybody. It's really important that um, you take it back to the Lord and ask him to confirm the word to you if you believe it's meant for you. It's important that you have your own relationship with him, that you're able to understand and hear from him um, without having to rely on everybody else. And I know that for some of you, this will be confirmation of what he's already shared with you, which is great. If you do have any questions, I encourage you to just take them back to him. He will surely answer them in his perfect way and perfect time. Okay, the important thing here is to have that relationship with him. So... This is based on a dream that I had recently. I apologize. I do not have the date with me, but it was a few nights ago I had this dream. Um, and there have been a couple of dreams with a similar theme. So the dreams I've been having lately, um, well, most of them have been of some kind of movement, needing to go, getting ready to pack, um, but really quick. Um, in the one dream, I know that I had to literally book a flight for the next day and then I was overwhelmed with the idea of packing and thinking of postponing the trip for a few days so that I had time to pack. So the dreams are really um, have that similar theme of just moving quickly, immediately. And the dream that I do want to share with you today um, is the one that stood out the most, the one that I sense God wanted me to share with you today. And in this dream, there was a scene in which I was in this place which looked like a classroom. It wasn't 100% a classroom. There was no one teaching anything. It just looked like it. And there were people there with me. I don't know any of these people in waking life, but I knew them in the dream. I was comfortable with them. And um, they were all men. That's definitely something I remember. But it's like there were just people that I knew. There wasn't anything like, who are these people? I just knew them. And I'm not sure what we were doing in that classroom. But I had to leave. There was suddenly this um, realization or something happened and I needed to go. It was not a short trip or just take a drive down to the grocery store or whatever. Um, I knew that I was going to be driving long distance. Um, I was going with other people. Um, but I was going to be the driver and I needed to use the bathroom before leaving. Okay. My bladder was so full. So I, I had gone to the car to get ready to, to leave. And then I decided to go back because I thought, well, if we're driving long distance, I better empty my bladder. Right. So I went into back into this place that looked like a classroom. And all of a sudden there were these, um, toilets like in a row, like probably like three rows of toilets and I thought okay I could use one of them all the men had left except for one and this particular one was someone that I felt very comfortable with in the dream like I knew that I didn't have to worry about using um, the bathroom while he was there in the room I didn't feel like oh my gosh he's gonna see me it I was quite comfortable and so I was trying to find a toilet to use there was no doors it wasn't like a stall or like different toilet stalls they were out in the open in that room three rows and I just thought um, well not thought I remember seeing that each toilet was not clean the men that had been there <laughs> had already urinated and didn't do a great job um, in keeping the, any of them clean. So I couldn't sit on any of them. And then I remember that I did eventually find one. Um, and I was able to um, urinate, but there was so much that I had to release. Uh, my bladder was extremely full. So, 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 so full. And that was the dream. I just kept thinking, I need to just do this so that I can go. And I needed to do it in a hurry. So now um, the Lord was speaking to me about this. Because I kept asking him, why do I keep having all these dreams about sudden movement, sudden movement? I have absolutely no plans. <laughs> me personally, I have no plans of suddenly going anywhere. I, I just don't see that. Um, so 
I'm putting this word out there because I feel led to. Actually, a friend of mine um, just yesterday, just today actually, it started yesterday, but today she was sharing with me about the sudden move that she had to make, which we thought was coming only in maybe in a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months. And suddenly it's happening today. Okay. She's flying out today. <laughs> And I was like, wow, okay, this now makes sense with the dream. Um, And there were some other things um, that were similar to the dream that came up with this particular friend. And I thought, wow, this is happening. So so I felt led to share this with you guys because I know that this is not a joke, okay? Something is happening um, for a lot of you out there. There's going to be sudden movement and it's going to be so sudden. Same thing uh, that happened to my friend. So... I think, uh, let me just go through the dream, the one that I just shared. So being in that classroom type setup, right? Um, Like I said, there there was no teaching, there were no books, there was no testing. We were just there. We're just kind of interacting. And I do believe that you've been going through some kind of um, testing period, but it hasn't been the same as what you would expect. It's been a different kind of test because that's what I... Um, understand this classroom to mean in this particular dream Um, it hasn't been anything too um, it just hasn't been the same I don't want to say it hasn't been too strenuous because I believe that it has been for some of you and um, you've kind of it's also felt like you've just kind of been waiting for something to happen because there was a bit of waiting around and the people that were in this dream with me, like I said, I don't know a single one of them in waking life, but I knew them in the dream. And I believe that for, well, I believe this is what the Lord put in my spirit, that for some of you, there are certain relationships that you need to um, heal from. And I believe it's specific to people that you've known, people that you've encountered, whether it's family members or not, um, that have been in your life. But they have affected you in some way. You know, I needed to go in that dream. So God is going to get you going on something. Um, You're going to have to move quickly. It's going to come upon you very suddenly and you're going to have to act quickly and get out of there. But just before you have to do that, there is something that you have to leave behind. You have to release some um, pent up trauma of some kind something has to be released because like i said my bladder was extremely full and there was no way i could go on that trip until i emptied my bladder and when i went back to do that all the toilet seats already had urine on them and i really struggled to find one that i could use and eventually i did um and it's not going to be easy i forgot to mention this in the dream the one that I found to use, right, it was cleaner than the rest, but I had to, um, I had to position myself in a way that wasn't quite easy. I remember having to kind of like half stand, half squat just to be able to use this particular toilet. Um, so it's not going to be an easy process, but you're going to have to think on your toes and you're going to have to do it quickly. It's going to be uncomfortable, but it has to be done. And the people that like I mentioned it has to do with people that have impacted your life in one way or the other there are people who are not with you currently remember I went back in and none of them were there it was just the one person that I was most comfortable with and I believe that person represents Jesus I believe that's him standing there with you side by side um, as you go through this but you have to go through this these people may no longer be uh, as close to you as they were or at least in in this instance what I'm understanding with them not being there when I actually wanted to use the toilet was that they are not um they're not going to have a part in this they're not going to have a view of this process of you letting these things go so this is something that's going to be very personal between you and the Lord um and you're going to have to do it quickly. He's going to help you through it. It's not going to be hard. It is going to be painful. Um, half standing, half squatting is not an easy thing to do. Um, but it, it needed to be done. Um, so I believe today that the Lord is saying that you need to be very cognizant of the time and the timing of things. And that he is thrusting you into this new thing. And it's already begun. 
I believe that there's an urgency in this. Just, you know, having all these dreams, so many in succession, and then seeing it happen in a friend's life, like, whoa, we had no idea what the next couple of days or weeks would look like for her. But all of a sudden, God made this move, and it's like, okay, okay, these dreams <laughs> are really, really for right now. And it's not for everybody. It's if you know that God has been showing you some kind of movement going somewhere, um, then you know that this is for you. So get ready. Be ready to um, purge yourself of any inner things that you haven't healed from. You know, this has been an ongoing theme for years now. God just removing all these um, the effects of trauma in our lives. And it hasn't been an easy process. It really isn't. There's a lot that you have to sift through, um, a lot that you have to face, deal with. And it takes time. We can't do it all in one day. That's why it has been uh, something that's been going and happening over a number of years. So right now there's going to be a quick quick work that you're going to need to do and then move forward right um so that's really the word for today the scripture for today is isaiah 43 verse 19 and it reads as follows okay i thought i had it open but clearly not hold on <laughs> um for i am about to do something new see i have already begun do you not see it I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. So the Lord has already begun with this thing. And it's going to pounce on you um, in such a special way. It's going to be so good. But there's going to be that little something. Um, let me not call it a little. But there's going to be something that you're going to have to deal with before you can move forward. The Lord um, is going to highlight those things to you. Um, or somehow show you that, hey, this is the thing that I want you to kind of process right now. Um, yeah, so that's the word for today. I pray that it's blessed whoever it's for. I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.